Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss kinds of quadrilaterals. Based on the nature of the sides or the angles of a quadrilateral, we have different kinds of quadrilaterals. First kind of quadrilateral that we have is a trapezium. Let's discuss about the trapezium now. It is a quadrilateral. with a pair of parallel sides. This figure ABCD is a trapezium where we have AB and CD are the parallel sides if the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are of equal length then it is an isosceles trapezium like if in this trapezium ABCD AD is equal to BC, then we say that ABCD is an isosceles trapezium. Next quadrilateral that we need to discuss is a kite. Let's see what is a kite. It is a quadrilateral in which there are exactly two distinct consecutive pairs of sides of equal length. It is basically a special type of a quadrilateral. Consider this figure ABCD in which we have AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to CD. That is we have two distinct consecutive pairs of sides of equal length are there in this figure. So ABCD is a kite. Next we discuss Parallelogram It is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. Consider this figure ABCD. In this we have that AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. That is we have the opposite sides are parallel. So this ABCD is a parallelogram. Now considering this figure we will discuss some elements of a parallelogram. Like a parallelogram has four sides and four angles. The sides AB and DC are the opposite sides. Then another pair of opposite sides are sides BC and AD are also opposite sides. Angle A and angle C are the opposite angles. Then angle B and angle D are also the opposite angles. Then the sides AB and BC are the 
adjacent sides and the sides BC and CD are also the adjacent sides. Adjacent sides are those in which one of the sides starts where the other ends. Like in AB and BC, AB ends at B, side BC starts at B. So we say AB and BC are the adjacent sides. In the same way we can find out other pairs of adjacent sides in this parallelogram. Angle A and angle B are the adjacent angles. Then angle B and angle C are also adjacent angles. That is these are the angles at the ends of same sides. In the same way we can find out other pairs of adjacent angles of this parallelogram ABCD. We shall now discuss some properties of a parallelogram Like the first one says, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are of equal length. That is, if you consider this parallelogram ABCD, you say that AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC. Then the opposite angles of a parallelogram are of equal measure that is angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. Then the next property is the adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. That is we have angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. In the same way angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. And angle D plus angle A is 180 degrees. Now we have another property related to the diagonals of a parallelogram. It says that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other We know that the diagonals of a parallelogram are not of equal length. In this figure you can see that AC and BD are the diagonals. Now they intersect at the point O and we know that the diagonals bisect each other at point O. So we have that AO is equal to OC and BO is equal to OD. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the kinds of quadrilaterals.